Okay, um, I had to like stop for a second. But anyway, this is um, really hard to do with just crowns, and I'm sorry that I don't have good writing utensils. And I, uh, it seems like I've explained this way better before. I'm just trying to, this is like my first actual video. It's kind of a different thing being on camera doing it. But anyway, so there's a lot of intervals, but the ones we're going to concern ourselves now with are called the, uh, the major and the minor thirds. There's major thirds and there's the minor thirds. And a, um, a major third is two full steps. So if you look at the scale, the distance from C to E, I drew out a keyboard. Okay, look, we can start on C. And you can count. Here's C to C sharp is a half step. So that's one half step. C sharp to D is another half step. So two half steps make a full step. Then the D to D sharp is another half step, and the D sharp to E is another half step. So you have half step, half step, half step, half step. Four half steps make the two whole steps. So essentially, anytime you skip over a key, you get a whole step. So one whole, because you're skipping the sharp there. One whole, two whole. So C to E is a whole step. Er, sorry, the two whole steps. So that's called a major third. Major is a capital with a little three. Minor is a lowercase with a little like line over the top. Sometimes they don't have a line, but for us, we're gonna use a line with the three. And uh, this is how you build the major and the minor chords. A major chord is built with a major third on the bottom. So C to E is major third. And the E to G, let's count it out. E to G. So we got half step, half step, half step. That's one and a half steps. So that's a minor third. So the formula for a major third Form U La for major third is major third on the bottom, minor third on the top. Okay? And you have your one, three, five, because it goes one two, three, four, five. That's what I was saying before, how you count the one. So you, you wouldn't start on C and go, one is D, two is E, so forth. You start on the C, count the first. One, two, right? Your two's right there. One, two, three, four, five. That's one, three, five. So the first one, this is what all this means. That's like I said, the one is major, the two is minor. Well, I'll show you how to build a minor chord. These are called your chord functions. You get seven chords out of one scale. And those actually become your modes. I'll get more into that in a little while, but we have to learn these first. So now, we'll go to the two chord. Uh, this is called, the one chord is called your tonic. Okay? Now the two chord, we'll do this on the back. Let's, well first let's analyze it. Let's line these up so we don't get confused here. Okay. We're starting with a D and we're going to F. And then our, our next one is A. This is still, and this is still like one, three, five, because you do a one, two, three, four, five. This is how triads are built. All triads are one, three, five. Okay, so we'll go to the D, and we're going to F after that. So D, half step, half step, half step. That's three half steps. Remember? three half steps or one and a half steps is a minor. So now we have a minor on the bottom. So we'll do formula. Oh man, this sucks writing like this. Formula for minor third 
is minor third on the bottom. And let's see, we're going, so we got, we got the D to F, now I have to figure out the F to A. So we'll come back down to our keyboard and F, half step, half step, half step, half step. Here's our A. So that was four half steps. That means it's, right, two full steps, which is a major third. So the formula for a minor chord or a minor triad is a minor third on the bottom with a major third on the top, which is the exact opposite of a major chord, right? There you go, there's your formulas. Okay. So that's how you get the lowercase Roman numeral two.